Marlin here. Welcome back to my country craft corner. Well, here I stand in my powder room today. Chris and I just got back from visiting with his extended family and celebrating our Christmas with them today. We had a lovely time. They live about two hours away from us, so we just got home. And before we left this morning, I was working on gathering pictures and everything that I'm going to need to do a voiceover video about this wreath. We're coming back to wreaths again today. So I made this last year because I redid the whole decor in my powder room here. I have a rather large powder room. I'll show you, take the video camera around the room so you can get a better feel of what it is. But I wanted to make a very almost woodsy feel kind of wreath. This is a stamped burlap wreath and I'm going to give you all the particulars and tell you how I created this. So stick with me and I'll give you a little tour around the room here and then we'll get on to the voiceover part. Hope everyone is doing really well today and I'll be talking to you in just a minute. Alrighty, here's a little tour of the powder room. Let me just tell you, again, this is a pretty new house and when we moved in here, we didn't have them do anything extra to this room. So what came with this room was a pedestal sink and a mirror and a two light light fixture above the mirror. So we chose this vanity from Home Depot and the mirror to match and the light fixture. The light fixture goes with other, all the other light fixtures in the house. After Christmas, again, I'm going to be doing a home tour to show you guys all the parts and pieces of the house and how we came up with what we chose for this house. But for Christmas, I wanted to do this room a little differently. Out in the family room, you guys know that it's mostly burgundies and golds. And then in the living room and dining room, it's very light and airy with silvers, greens, and so on. So for this room, I wanted to do it a little, give it a little bit of a woodsy feel, for lack of a better way of describing that. So, and I usually have plates hanging there, but instead I have just snowflakes. And back here, Chris made me this shelf years and years ago. And I just put a few Christmassy little things on the shelf. It kind of gives you an all over feeling of the powder room and where I hung this wreath. Burlap, khakis, snow covered pine cones, and a touch of red here and there. So I'll be talking to you in just a minute to show you how I put this wreath together. Be right back. All right, let me explain how I put this sweet little wreath together. First, I found this 18 inches by nine feet stamped burlap at Walmart. It is very heavy duty stuff and trust me, it will definitely hold its shape beautifully. The burlap has white flocking in the shape of pine cones stamped all over it. I used two entire skeins to create this wreath. Here are the other supplies that I gathered. A 16 inch work wreath with silver chenille twist ties already attached. A coordinating burlap ribbon with silver snowflakes. A grapevine and white angel. Silver and white pine cone ornaments and silver berry beads. The first thing that I did was to attach the burlap. I gathered the end and started placing it into one of the chenille pipe cleaners on the outer ring of the wreath form. I then made a large loop at least 8 to 10 inches long and caught it into the next pipe cleaner on the outer ring of the wreath form. I continued making loops around the entire outer ring in this manner. I finished by piggybacking it into the same chenille tie that I had started with. 
I used an entire skein of burlap for the outer ring. I then transferred over to the inner ring and attached it in the same looping manner. I used almost the entire second skein of burlap to complete the inner ring. Then I made this bow out of coordinating burlap ribbon. I will attach a link to my craft bow tutorial in the description below. I took some of the coordinating burlap ribbon and I cut several 8 inch strips. I then folded them in half lengthwise and chevroned both ends. Next, I attached a tuff of two in to every other twist tie on the outer ring. I spread them out to kind of look like a snowflake. Next, I hot glued pipe cleaners to the back of the angel and I tied her onto the wreath form. I knew she'd be too heavy to glue on without some secondary support. Adding the pipe cleaners helped to secure her into place. Then, I hot glued those pine cone ornaments into place. Next, I chose a location for the bow, but first I accented it with some of the berry beads by weaving them through the bow loops. I placed berry beads around the angel as well and called it done. And I was finished, and I hung it right up in the powder room. I was going for a woodsy, wintry feel with this wreath, and I do think that I achieved my goal. I love having a starting point when it comes to recreating the decor in any particular room, and this wreath provided that jump-off place for me. I built the rest of the decor in the room around this wreath. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.